wanaenda kule wanamwambia mzazi ati pesa ya serikali haijafika wewe lipa sasa msikie kutoka kwangu kwa sababu hawa watu watawachana na hiyo tabia mbaya ya kuuliza wazazi walipe pesa na ili hali serikali imetoa pesa wacha nirudie serikali ya Kenya hii Januari sio ya last year hii Januari tumetoa bilioni sitini na mbili ya kusomesha watoto wetu wa Kenya shule ya primary school shule, eh, pesa ya primary school pesa ya secondary school pesa ya tivet pesa ya university mpaka pesa ya basari ambayo wabunge watatumia kupatia basaris watoto wetu na nasema hivi kwa sababu mimi niliwaambia wa Kenya hii sekta ya, kili, ya, ya, ya elimu tutatatua matatizo yake tulikuwa na kizungumkuti pale ya mambo ya CBC wananchi hawakujua hawa watoto wataenda wapi watafanya vipi nikawaambia tutatatua nikaweka jopo ya presidential party wakatupatia mwelekeo na tunaendelea na kutekeleza mwelekeo huo tumeajiri walimu wapya sita kusomesha watoto wetu tunatangaza wiki hii walimu wengine wa Tivet mbili wa kusomesha watoto wetu kama shule yenu hii inaitwa nini hapa ya Tivet Okame na ile chama siri ya kule na zile zingine ziko Kenya mzima tunaajiri wale watakao somesha watoto wetu pale na ni kwa sababu tunajua umuhimu wa elimu tunataka mtoto wa kila mkenya aende shuleni apate elimu apate kuna mwalimu ili tuweze kuweka usawa katika taifa letu la Kenya unajua pale mtoto akiwa amesoma mtoto wa tajiri na maskini wanakuwa sawa kwa sababu ya elimu and that is why education is very important and i want to tell those managers in the education sector not to take advantage of parents on false accounts of the government having released no money i want to state here categorically we have released 62 billion kenya shillings to our primary schools to our secondary schools to our tivet institutions and our universities including money for bursaries to our members of parliament so that even the children from vulnerable families can have bursaries and go to school tumekubaliana jameni vile vile na mimi nataka niwaambie sekta hiyo ya elimu mimi nitaichunguza sana na nitaipangia sana kwa sababu tunataka kuweka usawa mwaka huu tena nitapeleka mapendekezo kwa bunge nataka hao wa bunge tena tuajiri walimu wengine elfu ishirini wakusaidia watoto wetu kuwasomesha ili kusiwe na darasa hakuna mwalimu na tuhakikishe ya kwamba Kenya inasonga mbele na mtoto wa kila mtu anapata masomo that is the commitment we are making as a people vile vile mimi niliwaeleza ya kwamba mambo ya matibabu ni mambo ya muhimu sana kwetu sote. Kuna watu hawana pesa ya kulipa NHIF. Si ni kweli? Kuna watu hawawezi kupeleka watu wao katika wakiwa na kanza hawawezi kupeleka watu wao hospitali kwa sababu gharama iko juu. Na ndiyo sababu mimi niliwaahidi tutabadilisha mfumo wa afya katika Kenya. Sasa tuko na sheria mpya ine ya kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya afya inafikia kila mkenya. Wale wa chini zaidi, yule mtu ambaye huna uwezo wa kulipa bima ya afya ya NHIF, sasa serikali ya Kenya itakulipia yule uko na uwezo kiasi ulikuwa unalipa shilingi tano sasa tutakupunguzia ikuje shilingi tatu 
na pia tuko na hazi